Hey guys, Braden from Adrenaline Rush Sports Australia. This video today we're going to talk about the wind window. Now the wind window is a very, very basic principle that you need to understand as a kiteboarder. Uh, the wind window also applies to basically all wind sports as well. But taking consideration, this is probably one of the most key fundamental uh, ideas you need to understand. So what is the wind window? The wind window is basically um, the, the area where you can fly your kite. So if you were standing on the beach, it would be 180 degrees from your right shoulder over your head and to your left shoulder and everything down in front of you. So we're going to draw a little stick figure here. So this is a little stick figure. Nice little fellow there. Wind window. Basically it looks like a big semicircle like this. Okay. Now let's imagine that the wind is going this direction here. Okay. Now straight above our head is going to be 12 o'clock. Okay. Just to the right is 1, just to the left is 11. We got 2, 3, 10, and 9. Okay. Now, understanding this, 12 o'clock is directly above our head, 1 is just to the right, 11 is just to the left. That's, what the, that's the wind window and when it's on the, on the edge of the window. Okay. So on the edge of the window, which is 180 degrees from your right shoulder over your head into your left shoulder, that's where you're going to have the least amount of power and the most amount of control in the kite. Okay. Basically with the wind window, the further you fly your kite down deeper into the power zone, closer to the ground, is where you're going to generate most of your power. So if we were flying this kite really high, nice and slow on the edge of the window, it'd be flying up sort of around here, there's not going to be a whole lot of power there, okay? Well, if we start to really crank on that bar and really aggressively turn that kite deeper into the power zone, or lower down here, that's where you're really going to generate your power. So understanding whereabouts in the wind window you put your kite and uh, how much power you generate is a pretty core cool principle to have. But the main thing you need to understand is that we have this, uh, the wind window is basically everything in front of you from 180 degrees from the right over your head to your left. Uh, the, the higher you keep your kite and closer to the edge of the window, which is this imaginary line that the kite will sit when you're just uh, keeping the bar on the zenith or um, not doing too much with the bar. That's where you're going to have the least amount of power and the most amount of control. And the harder we turn that kite and get it nice and deep and close to the ground in front of us, directly down in front of us, is where you're going to generate the most amount of power, okay? So when you're going out flying a kite and you're really trying to get, in, uh, get used to flying it and controlling it, nice, slow, calm movements is always going to be better off at the start. Then once you start to get a bit more aggressive and you're really comfortable flying it, that's when you can really fly it close down to the, uh, to the ground or down into the power zone. So uh, understanding that, that's going to make your flying uh, a lot safer. It's really going to you know, put an idea in your head of how the kite works in, in reference to the wind window. One last thing that I, I will add though is uh, common sense, um, but you can never fly a kite upwind of you, okay? So if, what that basically means, if I was standing here and um, I was flying the kite, the kite was out in front of me, the kite would never fly back past me. It's always going to be downwind of me because it's attached to my harness, okay? So understanding this would be directly downwind of him, wind in this direction, the kite would never fly up past his head, or it shouldn't. I'm Braden from Magellan Rush. This is a little introduction to the wind window and how the kite uh, flies in reference to it. Uh, I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching this video. Check out adrenalinerush.net.au for all the links.